Incremental reading is easy if you really understand the subject you're learning about. But what if you really don't understand? Like, I don't know nothing about treasury yields. And I want to learn about treasury yields, how they work, and how they affect the economy. And I got the recommended website, The Balance. It's a very nice personal investment website. Make money personal, okay? Here's my article. I will have it in super metal. As you can see, there are many extras. There are some tables of content. There are some adverts. Lots of adverts. Lots of adverts the bottom there are some extra articles maybe that's useful but uh, for me that's garbage because all I want is my article I'll use the trick which you can only use in Internet Explorer so I'll go to the bottom of the article click at the end jump to the top click at the beginning and I'll go to my Superman here I have a new collection called investing I'll try to import my article so I have to import, select my article, choose local pages, close with import, import, use new, yeah, okay, here my article now. Let's first illustrate the picture. Hmm. Maybe let's get rid of all the other pictures, actually there's only one. Delete current image, yeah. Keep it clean. The title. This title is better. Why treasury yields fall when the man rises. Let it be my title. I'll select it and choose Alt T. Alt T. Alt T is for title. Do we keep the old title? No. Just why treasury yields fall when the man rises. Okay. Future. There is some garbage. The author, the author is. Kimberly Amadeo. I'll keep it in references. Maybe, maybe if I like the author in the future, I will remember she had a good article. So this is Alt Q. This will be my author in the references. See the bottom, Kimberly Amadeo. Okay, that's my author in references. Maybe the date. Alt Q again. Alt Q date all right and the rest I can get rid of so I will do delete before cursor and have it cleaned up oh I got some space in here maybe I'll just cut adverts and uh, spacing and styles I'll use a filter f6 f6 Okay, let's learn. Treasury yields are the total amount of money you earn by owing U.S. Treasury bills, notes, and bonds. I don't know what treasury yields are. Treasury bills, notes, and bonds. Nothing. So, if I didn't have incremental reading, I'll be in a state of panic already. Because I need to understand an article. I don't understand even the first sentence. Okay, so I'll help myself with Wikipedia. Treasury yields. What's that? I'll choose... Web search, so that we control F3. Treasury yields. Okay, I have search at Wikipedia. I press W. Okay, and we got US Treasury Security, Yield Curve, Yield to Maturity, Yield Finance. Okay, Government Bond. I'll try to see that too. United States Treasury Security is an IOU from the US government. Okay. Yield in finance, the yield in security is the amount of cash in percentage terms that it turns to be on security. Alright. Government bond is a bond explanation. Uh, what's the difference? No idea. Okay. Looks like I have to learn it all. So I go back to Superman. Import those three things from Wikipedia. Control Shift W. Control Shift W. I'll import those articles. Treasury yields are the total amount of money you earn by owning US Treasury bills, notes, and bonds. Okay. I have a, some idea what this means. 
Now, the U.S. Treasury Department sells them to pay for U.S. debt. It's crucial to remember that yields go down, there's a lot of demand for the bonds. Well, no idea what it says. Yields go down, there's a lot of demand for the bonds. Maybe it be explained. No, incremental reading, I don't need to be stressed. I just extract it, and in the future I'll have it uh, presented for review again. Maybe then I'll understand. I'm not memorizing anything, I'm just reading, trying to figure out what the article is saying. That's why yields move in the opposite direction of bond values. Yields and bond values. Do, do bond value. Maybe let's get to Wikipedia. Bond, bond value. Bond value. Bond valuation. Bond finance. Yield the elasticity of bond value. God, God, so many things to learn. I'm, I'm already going to lock up. Never mind. Bond valuation is the termination of the Fibrazid Bank. Okay. Okay. Actually, this should be obvious. I'm going to say don't panic. Try to understand. Okay. Let's have it all. Note, I keep it over the context. So, because to understand this sentence, I need this context. I'm going to go back to my article. And how they work. Treasury yield prices are based on supply and demand. I'm like anything, I hope bet. In the beginning, the bonds are sold in auction by the Treasury Department. Okay. Whatever. Google that. Department sets a fixed value and interest rate. Fixed face value. Fixed face value of what? Interest rate of what? Alright. Let's keep fighting. Now, there is a lot of demand. The bond will go to the highest bidder. The price above the face value. Okay, now I have some idea what face value is. This lowers the yield. Wait. A lot of demand. High price. Above the face value. Lowers the yield. No explanation. No idea. Let's keep finding. Lowers the yield. The government. The government only pay back the face value plus the stated interest rate. The government will pay back the face value, okay, plus the stated interest rate. That clears things up. Let's get it on the context. I'll give us high priority. Anyway. Well, I have small collections. Priorities don't matter, don't matter that much. The government will pay back the face value plus the stated interest rate. So you remember that. Face value, maybe just remember face, face value, the stated interest rate. Okay, so now I have two items interest rate and face value. Okay, back to the article. The man will rise when, they, when there is an economic crisis. This is because investors consider US trade to be ultra safe for investment. Okay, there is less demand. To be Stand treasure secondary market I dropped okay. This, this makes some sense. Let's get rid of everything above so that will be alt backslash alt backslash and how they affect the economy, the treasury bonds, I presume. As treasury yields rise, so do the interest rates. Oh. Man, on consumer and business loans with snow lines. Oh, maybe I'll uh, just to, to, to give the brain a little break. Now let's go back to Wikipedia. Bond valuation. Okay, we learned that bond finance. Finance bond is an instrument of indebtedness of the bond issued to the holders. Okay, it binds you. Oh, that's why it's a bond. Okay, you know, it probably not important. Buy. Yeah, you want to understand investing, you need to learn those basic terms. Okay, let's keep slugging. As treasury yields rise, so do the interest rates. It's not explained why. So, maybe we'll find out later. Investors like the safety of fixed returns, bonds, treasury the safest since then. So, 
Other bonds are riskier, therefore must return higher yields in order to attract investors. To remain competitive, interest rates on other bonds are not good. Uh -huh. So they rise, interest rates increase. Huh. In a good article, I'll first explain this and then make a statement. Unless it picks your interest. I think it's more discouraging for someone like me. You read the sentence, you don't know what it says and why. I will need a couple more. When yields rise on the second graph in the market, the government must pay a high interest rate to attract buyers in future auctions. Over time, those higher rates increase the demand for treasuries. That's how higher yields can increase the value of the dollar. Oh boy, more dependencies. That roughly makes sense. In the future, when I read it again, I hope everything will just everything will get put together. How they affect you? The most direct manner in which treasury yields affect you is their impact on fixed rate mortgages. Boy, mortgages. So yields rise, banks and other leaders realize they can charge more interest for mortgages so similar. Okay, okay, okay. I think I get it now. That can slow gross domestic product. Did you know that you can use yields to predict the future? That's interesting. It's possible if you know about the yield curve. Okay, let's delete Trust from the beginning and see what's the yield curve. So let me. Uh, 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 no way. I'm not reading that. Maybe let's try Wikipedia. Control F3. Wikipedia. Yield curve. Yes, we got it. Yield curve. In the finance, the yield curve is a curve showing several yields. More imports. Thank you very much. Okay, it's possible if you know the yield curve. Wait a minute. I know the yield curve and I know the future. How come? Steep inverted flat theory. Nothing about clairvoyance. Back. The future. No, the longer the time frame of treasure, the higher the yield must require a high return for keeping the money tighter. Okay, if I didn't have incremental reading, I'll be in a state of panic right now. Too many things at the same time. Too many things I don't understand. This I will read later. Uh, oh, too many, too many things, too many things. The smaller the spread, the flatter the curve. Jesus, do they explain this curve? Let's go back to the article. Search for curve. Did I miss something? Yield curve, okay. That was the slow article, that didn't help. So normal yield curve. Inverted yield curve. The smaller the spread, the flatter the curve. No way, they don't explain nothing. Yield curve. I have another idea. Let's search for yield curve at the Google Images. Yield curve. Ah, uh, images. Okay. Okay, sounds like something. Maturity. What's maturity? Interest rate, paper bonds. Yield curve. Is there an explanation anywhere? Oh, let's see this one. Years to maturity, okay. Yield, I think it. I think it clears things up. Let's, let's check some more. Borrowing period, okay. It's borrowing period. Interest rate. Or yield, yield. Wow. Good. Be nice if it was written yield yield. I should have written daily treasure yield curve rates. Daily? Oh. Let's use it as an illustration for the article. The yield curve reached the post recession peak on January 
Mm -hmm. So I guess Obama was doing a good job. This is upward slope, I feel good. I guess this one with high return for tenure. Okay. The curve has flattened since then. Alright. Outlook. Rays began rising. Oh, too much, too much, too much. In the long term, four factors will make treasury products less popular in the next 20 years. The huge US debt, that's bad. Yeah. One way is a factor. Is a one way is a factor. One way the US can reduce its debt is by letting go of dollar decline. Okay? Foreign bond method payment. Worthless. Sorry, sorry. The offer, but. This is something like a factor, unless I'm stupid here. That's a normal problem in incremental readings. If you really want to read incrementally, things might be perfectly logical. If they are a little bit messed up, a little bit prosaic, a little bit novel like, they read like a novel, then you're in trouble. Long term, fine. I'll dig into this now and understand things better. A table tantrum. Oh. We're close to the end, okay? Now look, I choose that portion, I action that, I say done. And it really feels good. I read the article. I understood something. Tomorrow, when I review everything, I'll understand more. It's always worked for me in the past. This is day number two of my learning bond investing. I'll check my memorized elements. You memorized. I have 27 memorized elements, we have to process them today. Today, I'll do that in a random order. When I randomize them, they can fit differently in my memory, and perhaps my comprehension will improve. I already have a big picture, I more or less know what I'm reading about. Therefore, now I should try to polish that knowledge, deepen the understanding, and perhaps generate some items. So I'll do random, randomize the browser, or shift control, function 11. That's my randomized browser. Now can start learning. If there is a lot of demand, the bond will go to the highest bidder at the price above the face value. I, I have already learned that, I remember. However, one extra clause never hurts. It supports so called knowledge Darwinism, when different clause deletions compete for the best place in memory. Some of them are easier, some are placed in better context, and those which are best will be remembered best. And I have all the others. And in the end, I can have three, four different clauses on the same subject. It's just, they work together. The demand will arise when there is an economic crisis. This is because investors consider U.S. treasuries to be the ultra-safe for an investment. Today. If there is less demand, then bidders will pay less than the face value. Then increases the yield. Increases the yield. Slowly, slowly start understanding this. Yield prices. Yield prices. What are yield prices? Let's check Wikipedia. Yield price. Nothing. Maybe some other Investopedia or something. Nothing. Yield price. Yield price. Yield price. Man, let's check in the collection. Maybe the article has its own term or some jargon collection. And we have two contexts one, treasury prices. Treasury prices. How they work? I suspect it just means bond price. Or it's just yields. Yields change every day because few investors keep them for full term. I'll just ignore it. Maybe one day it'll get clearer. Instead, they will sell treasury in the secondary market for the here bond prices have dropped, and you know that there is a lot, a lot of demand for the bonds. Yields must increase to compensate for lower demand. Yields must increase. Must increase. They just increase. Okay, this is unclear. I'll review that again tomorrow. I know more. Yield curve, yield curve. Now let's get the picture. Okay. What about the other picture?
section is not too complex. Yield curve. What's a yield curve? Can you curve in finance? The yield oh, curve is a curve showing several yields of sin of interest rates across different contract lengths. This is very strange. The curve showing several yields. It's like saying the curve showing several points. All curves have points. I would say the yield curve is a curve that shows the relationship between the borrowing period and the yield. Never mind. Maybe I'll fix it in the future. I know what a yield curve is now. And this about yields, yield curve. Oh, maybe tomorrow we, we do it again. How do you work? Treasury real price based on supply and demand. And the bonds are sold in auction by the Treasury Department at a fixed price. It sets a fixed value on the interest rate. Didn't we already memorize this? Ah, oh, and an interest rate. Some redundancy again. Probably. The yield curve has flattened since then. Oh, we have a typical problem in incremental reading. It's called a referential ambiguity. We have then, and we don't know what that means. So then we need to recover the context. So we go back to the prior paragraph. And here we see, probably this is then, the curve reached the possible session peak. Peak. The yield curve. Uh, I'm guessing then means January. 2011. For example, the spread fell to 121, the yield on 10 was 0.22, and the yield on 10 was 144. So the yield curve. Didn't they call it a spread? The spread peak, not the curve. All right. Uh, this sounds like some kind of history item. It doesn't help you understand the treasury, so I'll just ignore it. In 11 days, I'll review it again. In finance, a bond is an instrument of indebtedness of the bond issuer, the holder, the mass contact, blah, blah, blah. The bond is a debt security under which the issuer of... Yeah, that's the thing I need. That's the good definition. I'll give it high priority because that's what I'm learning about. The bond is a debt security under which the issuer owes the holder a debt. is obliged to pay them an interest or pay at the maturity date. Now we'll memorize this one thing, and the definition will gradually, gradually become clear in my mind. The rest, maybe in two days, in two days, too many details for now. Ah, oh, if there's a lot of demand, the bond got the higher price above the face value, this lowers the yield, the government will only pay back the face value. Um, there's a lot of demand, will go higher. It's getting repetitive, so... I think I start understanding it now. Face this lower the yield. Lowers the yield because it was higher price, yeah? So lowers the yield. Next, did you know that you can use yields to predict the future? It's possible if you know about the yield curve. Yield curve again. And the picture. I will have two copies and they have strange names. I'll get rid of them by naming them just yield curve and this one also yield curve. So I will protest now. Ask me to merge those, yes, I will. And now I have one picture with eight users. Mm -hmm. I will insert it now to my element. Create a new component, yes. Insert it, okay. And with that, now we have an illustration, yield curve. The higher the yield for a 10 year note, more optimistic traders are about the common. This is a normal yield curve. The higher the yield, the more optimistic traders are about the economy. This is a normal yield curve, or oh, it's an abnormal yield curve. If the yields of long-term bonds are low compared to short term, then this is uncertain about the economy. Uh, this is very unclear. I'll uh, just Ignore it, but leave it just in case. How they affect you? Fixed rate mortgages. Okay. 
if you have to buy a small, less expensive home. That's pretty obvious. No, I'm not interested in that. Well, let's send it away to two weeks. The tapered tantrum. In 213 yield rose 74% in May, and that was the long best of soul of treasures when Quantitative easy. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. Not now. So what are they? Too complex. The yield hit 200 year lows in 212. Okay. We read about this Maybe tomorrow. It's higher priority. A fresh mind. The concern about the Eurozone crisis, maybe. One item. Treasury yields predicted the 2008 financial crisis. Great, that's interesting. I'll give it a high priority. Let's see. In January 2006, the yield curve started to flatten. Now I understand flatten because I have a picture. My own picture. I wouldn't understand it in the article. It meant investors did not require high yield for longer term notes. In January 2006, the yield on the one year note was 438, a bit higher than the yield for the 10 year note. Uh huh. That's the dreaded inverted yield curve. Yes, now I understand. I think I now understand what the normal curve is. It's normal is the one which is not inverted. Okay, when I see it next time, this normal curve, I'll maybe fix it or just delete it. This would be the normal curve, yeah? It predicted the 2008 recession. Uh, that's very interesting. I wonder how many people know those things. Okay, let's simplify those items because actually this is a complete unit of understanding. I'll go to delete after cursor. Delete after cursor, okay? And the same with the next item. To make it faster, I'll do Alt dot Alt dot Alt dot. Okay, let's keep going. The US Treasury Department sells them to pay the US debt. It's crucial to remember that the US go down. And there's a lot of demand for the month. Now we slowly, slowly understand it. Yields go down. There's a lot of demand for the bonds. That's why yields moving up is the direction of the bond values. Well. Let's repeat the same thing. Maybe I just delete it. Delete. Treasury yield price again. Uh, the yield price again. I wonder if it's a correct term or just a kind of jargon. Maybe the lady needs this one for herself. United States Treasury Security. Now that's what we're learning about. A United States Treasury Security. Maybe some picture. Discount yield. Exotic purchase value. Sounds like important. 30, 60. Days to maturity. I don't fully understand this, but it sounds like a nice picture to illustrate my article. There's an IOU from the US government. It has a government debt instrument issued to the United States Department of uh, It's an alternative to taxation. Government debt instrument issued by the US state by the United States Department of Treasury as an alternative to taxation. Okay, and this we can review in two days in more detail. Treasury yields are the amount of money you earn by owning. That's pretty obvious. Now, it was yesterday. If there is a lot of demand, the bond will go higher. But things are lower. Go. Stated interest. Yeah. Now it's getting repetitive. And that's good because if it's getting repetitive, it means that I understand. I start understanding this. And don't worry, those items will dilute in the learning process later on. So they will. They won't bother me. It's repetitive because I struggle with comprehension. But now this struggle is coming to an end. I think it's going to be a resolution. As treasury yields rise, so do the interest rates on consumer business loans with similar length. Wow, well, so the, we should reform it as treasury yields rise. The interest rates 
rise as well. Government bond. The government bond is a certain bond, and the bond is with another national government, generally with a promise to pay periodic interest payments and to repay the face value on the mature date. Uh, before I learn that, I would like to know one thing. This is United States Treasury Security. I would like to Google for that and perhaps ask the question. What is the difference between State Treasury Security and government bond? What's the difference? Securities and our view this we know from Wikipedia on an article. Treasury bonds, bills, and bonds. Treasury bonds, come, just read. What's the US Treasury bond? The same question, the Treasury bonds pay coupon, what's the Treasury bill? Oh, bye, 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 bye. Oh, I give up. Anyway, I'm not learning about bonds at the moment. So, what I will do, I'll delay that by two weeks. In two weeks, I'll check it again. In the meantime, I could do it on searching the collection. Do we have many mentions of the government bond? Government bond, collection, bond valuation, yield curve, on the Wikipedia. So, no. It doesn't seem to play a role in the article. Investors like the safety of fixed return bonds. Okay. That's... Office outlook, we're not interested. The government will only pay back the face value. This actually can delete already. One thing less to worry about. Five elements left. The yield could reach a possible session peak on January 2011. That's a date I would like to remember. Ah, that was a tricky one. In the long term, four factors will make treasury products less popular. So that's an important prediction. There are huge US debt, that's the first factor. The second, and we had the problem here. I remember, I couldn't figure out what the factor is. One way the US can reduce the debt is by letting the value of the dollar decline. When foreign government demand the repayment of the finance value of the bond, it will be less, it will be worth less in their own currency if the dollar value is lower. Be worth less. The value of the dollar declined. Maybe that's that's the point. Very unclear. Because actually that's that's the same point in a sense. Because uh, that's the result of the use debt, right? And the factors that would have been a challenge upon all persons to buy trade loans are changing. The economies become stronger, that would be the thing. Okay. So China, Japan, our producing countries get stronger. Alright. Part of the attraction of US treasuries is that they are nominated in dollars, which is a global currency. Yes, yes. As other currencies such as Euro become more popular. Fuel transaction. Other currencies become more popular. That's fourth Okay, I have a rough idea what what are the reasons why treasury products will be less popular. I'm still tended to make an item on this. I never learn lists or sets like this. That's unmemorizable in general. In the long term, I will never be able to say those four things out of, mem out of my memory. But maybe which currencies? Euro? Euro could be more popular. That would be nice. Okay. So we have two items on that. Um, inverted yield curve it predicts a recession. We know that already. The flatter curve. I finally understand flatter curve. We can even add the picture now. Search images. Yield curve. Insert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bond valuation, that's too obvious. Uh, that's a bit. In three weeks, we 
to read about this if we have time. When the yields rise in the secondary market, the government must pay a higher interest rate. It's the same thing over and over again. Okay. Yield in finance. Oh, that's a good thing. In finance, the yield on the security is the amount of cash that returns down security in the form of interest dividends received from it. Normally, it doesn't include price variations. Okay. This will we'll work tomorrow with high priority. And yield, maybe two days. We read more. No more elements in the review subset. 27 minutes done. And now we have 49 memorized elements. How much more now? Let's see our workload. Nine. Only nine elements tomorrow. Actually, I think my comprehension is getting better. So now we just find them. And we can see what we have for tomorrow. Yield curve. The bond. This dreaded tape tantrum. Oh, actually, I already sent it away two months from now. Only interested now. Oh, that interesting part. Financial crisis, yeah. So, I think my comprehension at the moment is pretty good. I generally know what, what I'm talking about. And the main lesson is those guys are getting less popular. So, I'm not buying. I'm not buying. That's for sure. That's the main lesson from this article.